You might want to take a break from the holiday shopping this weekend to take in a movie. Our Quad Cities' Linda Cook will check out a couple of new releases now being shown on the big screen. Friday movie time, right? And it's not drab. The weather not is, drab. so the two movies, go inside. Movie neither one. First one, Saltburn. I've heard the name, but I really haven't seen any of the trailers. Well, that's because I'm sure there's a lot of adult material in this movie, and I don't know how they would pack some of that into a trailer. Gotcha. Uh, if you go to my movie review, you can click on a link that will lead you to it, but not directly. Oh. This is very R-rated, Jim, very so R-rated. Let's, let's just get that out there. We're going to start with the, the non-family movie. This is by the same writer-director who did A Promising Young Woman just recently. Mm-hmm. And if you saw that movie, you will understand her work is very dark. The characters are devious and um, they're really pretty unlikable. This one stars... Is it suspense or just drama? Or? Uh, a little bit of both and a little bit of mystery because you really don't know all the facets of each character until the very end. The idea is that Oliver, the character you can see here and in the middle of the poster, goes to Oxford. He is lonely, he's kind of a nerd, other people mock him until he makes the acquaintance of a guy who is the most popular man there. Men, women fall at his feet and he decides he will bring Oliver into his life of luxury, privilege, and elitism. And from there, Ugly things begin to happen. Uh, not everyone survives this movie, I will say that. Mm-hmm. And it is very shocking in some places. Very adult, riveting for me. I thought it was one of the best movies of the year. I give it four out of four stars. With this caveat, do not go in thinking this is the usual thriller fair. It is not. It is very disturbing. And it holds suspense though to the end, it sounds like. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Had me out of my chair a couple of times. Out of your chair? That's mm-hmm. a big deal. All mm-hmm. right. Wish is another movie, right? Quite the opposite. This is the latest from Disney. And if you go in understanding what it is, you will appreciate this. This is a retrospective. Very little else of the last hundred years of Disney magic. The idea and the theme here is that you shouldn't let anyone take your wishes away. They belong to you. This is about a kingdom where a ruler who is a sorcerer takes the wishes of each person and the girl who decides she's going to change all that and get those wishes back where they belong. You talk about the reference to Disney history. Does it make references to old Disney movies and the same? Uh, Every frame. Every frame. And Bambi, yes, Bambi makes a cameo appearance as an adult, of course. But there are all these these references all the way through visual, uh, summer dialogue, summer sets. I enjoyed this movie. And I will tell you this, I don't see many audiences, or hear them, I should say, applaud at the end of a film very often. And I'm at the movies all the time. They applauded at the end of this movie. Feel good, I would imagine. Yes, and I walked out feeling better than I went in. So three out of four stars for me, and uh, I liked them both in very different ways. Saltburn four, this gets a three. Mm-hmm. All right, Linda Cook, always fun talking movies. Love it. Enjoy. Thank you. And you can always read Linda Cook's full reviews in detail on aquacities.com.